attack happened right on the family's doorstep. Channel 11 News reporter Kimberly Easton has the details on the latest developments. Lisa Malloy defends her actions but still must stand trial for aggravated assault. I just wish they leave my kids alone and stop trying to take them out of schools all the time. It all happened here at Elmore Square more than a month ago. However, Lisa Malloy is still upset about it. This was not my first time going through this. During her preliminary hearing, testimony revealed Malloy got into a fight with sister Christine Danko and Patricia Halvey after they brought her daughters home from Brashear High School. Halvey testified Malloy threw her up against a fence, punched her in the head, and choked her. It's all us. They came to my house, hollering and screaming, carrying on, and I don't know why. School administrators say they decided to take Malloy's daughters home because 14-year-old Maria Malloy was not responding to teachers and was pulling her hair and scratching her face. They also say they pulled the other sister, 16-year-old Sabrina, out of class because they couldn't get a hold of their parents and needed Sabrina to take care of her younger sister. However, Lisa got upset that her children had been returned home from school and ended up in a fight with the women. I did not choke the woman. I did none of that. So I just can't believe this. Malloy, who left city court in tears, must undergo a mental health evaluation. She had to come up with 10% of her $3,000 bail. She is to have no contact with the school and has been ordered to transfer her children to another high school. Malloy is scheduled for formal arraignment next week. Kimberly Easton, Channel 11 News.